What's going on YouTube? It's Ash checking in with the gang, 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 and I'm back with another freaking video <laughs> for you guys. And today I have another freaking special guest. Hello, my name is Zakaria Chisholm, and I'm the owner of Royal Bijou. Yes, so let's get into this mother freaking video. Okay, okay, so can you tell them about your brand and who you are and just kind of fill them in? Um, I guess a little bit about my brand. I make wire wrap jewelry, sell waist beads, crystals, mm -hmm. anything. You, you had rings, I saw rings. Yes, um, yeah. rings, beaded rings. Y'all, I just make all Nose, look, nose, y'all, mine is irritated. I should have just got a cuff. And so how did you get into like, you know, making jewelry and stuff like that? Um, I think it was June or July of last year. Oh, this is fresh, okay. Yes, like I um started making waist beads. Me mm -hmm. and my friend, we um actually started Royal Bijou together. So mm -hmm. at first it was two of us. And she already had her own LLC and her own business. And you know, we were just vibing out and just like uh, making jewelry and stuff together. Mm -hmm. Then eventually we just brushed off when I set her away, still kicking, yeah. nothing changed. Mm -hmm. But um, she just introduced me. Like she um, kind of put me on to like the, honestly the history of waist beads, exactly mm -hmm. what they symbolize. Okay. And the reasons to why you wearing it is not just because it's cute. <laughs> it's really cute. See, that's me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, you know, different colors have different meanings. You can add charms, crystals. Mm -hmm. To me, it's just like putting yourself into what you got on. Yeah. So, okay. girl, yes. So, how did you come up with your name? How do you pronounce it again? Bijou. Bijou. Royal Bijou. <laughs> okay. How did you come up with your name? Because I pronounced that wrong earlier. Okay. Man, um, I came up, of course, with the royal part because that's... um. I don't know, I think that's something that always stuck to me, or I guess us yeah. in general. Like, we are royal. Mm -hmm. We always have been and we always will be, no yeah. matter what situation you in. Right. I don't care. Like, yeah. Be royal, girl. Put your invisible crown on, okay? It's and always on. on. <laughs> <laughs> like, always. And then bijou actually means, uh, like, trinket or jewel. So okay. So, it kind of just goes hand in hand. beats. <laughs> Y'all, that's something that goes way back to, honestly, the Egyptian times. You can mm -hmm. look at photos, pictures, and you will literally see them with, like, chains and jewelry, like, on their stomachs. Mm -hmm. And um, they're worn for spiritual reasons, religious spiritual reasons. And, oh, girl, girl just, saying? girl literally just everything. See, day. no one would think that. Like, I didn't. I'm like, it's just some beads. But I guess exactly. not. Through your jewelry, like, I guess at the pop-up shop, mm -hmm. I, I noticed, like, different crystals and, like, a third eye and stuff like that. Uh -huh. So, what is that about? Because I'm not sure. A lot of people say crystals bring off different energy. Right. So, how does... I mean, can the you inform crystal. us? Girl, yes, that? I even got my crystal tray. Because I'm like, I don't have no idea what that means. And you have one on now. Girl, yes. Um, different ones. Oh. Yeah, I said I got a couple. <laughs> we can go over my favorite one, the tiger's eye. Okay. <laughs> so, the tiger's eye helps you focus. Um, oh, my God. I need. Okay. <laughs> it helps with um, clarity. Mm -hmm. And it is a powerful stone that is often used to attract and maintain wealth. It brings the calm and wisdom needed to use power hmm. so do you do you actually believe in it or do you think oh, yes, it's real. how do you know it works and like and it's real in a sense if that makes sense um i guess mm, spirituality and religion like it's mm -hmm. kind of to me it's all about faith it's mm -hmm. like um if you believe in manifestation or i wouldn't even say manifestation because a lot of people think like Oh my gosh, like it's witchcraft or just really? trying to girl, yes, everybody. Why would you? Girl, okay. people swear I'm a witch, okay? <laughs> but like no, no. I don't no, <laughs> I swear. Yeah. <laughs> like I ain't ever okay. cast a spell before or anything that. like that. Okay. But um that's just really what they categorize crystals with. Okay. Um I run into that a lot. And yeah. I'm just like, I literally never cast a spell in my life. Do they use crystals? So y'all yes. like, I don't know. Yes. Um, girl, yes, like they actually do. Um, which is 
like you can use them to meditate with mm -hmm. to of course wear because they all symbolize something different so some of them have a meditation helps you with being grounded and things yeah. like that and they're really just rocks and minerals from the earth oh, so okay. yeah. you can some places you can literally go and like travel to and pick out not necessarily pick out some crystals but mm -hmm like banging on some like some fossil type stuff like and just mm -hmm. go dig and find crystals yeah right. so they're they actually come, come from the earth, earth. Right. it's man-made crystals um mm -hmm. they have some like it's literally um they call geos i think i have one actually so have you always been into crystals actually like that? or did she crazy, introduce you to that as well it all came like together like if that makes sense because yeah. when i was making waist beads the beads, the color of the beads symbolize something. So researching and what just reading. I got one on. <laughs> Girl, what, what, is my, what, what, what is my Yes, trend? like white uh, like means purity, um, oh, okay. like new beginnings, and then blue that is like calming. crazy. Like, yes, blue is calming, green is for good health, wealth. Like, you don't like know. that. That's weird because I picked this, y'all. No, because <laughs> the new beginnings, y'all, because I got some on my sleeve. That is fucking insane to me. But that's that's what I be trying to explain to people too. Like yeah. it's never like when like when you know like you're asking like is it real? Like girl, yes. Yeah. Like it's just it's like an energy source. Like it's just that's another crazy. source of energy that we right. just basically. Use. So you don't just put shit together, right? I'm sorry. No. You don't put just things no, together. No. So I honestly make what I feel unless I'm doing a customized order. Mm -hmm. Or if like say, for instance, I had a woman um, or a customer order. She wanted some healing waist beads, something to help her with self-love and healing. So self-love yeah. and healing, I did like uh, a Yukonite crystal, mm -hmm. and then I did like some clear quartz, and then like some pinks and greens, because those, you know, went in with, um, well, matched yeah. with the crystals, but not only that, but it also had to do with like, you know, pink so, love. Yeah. And, White girl, yes. Chris. Okay. So like this is like a geo. So mm -hmm. this would like literally like imagine this being a rock. Mm -hmm. Like this is what it would look like on the outside. Then you cut it in half and this is what it would like literally that look like. <laughs> yeah. Like being younger, like I literally had crystals like <laughs> and did so not know better than you. And like you just, just now learning about it. That's crazy. Like it's it all makes sense. Then I don't remember what song that was. I was listening to somebody album. I think it was Wale's album. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lie. Or okay. some Sir was something. It was just basically saying the more I embrace how different I am, the more everything makes sense. Huh. And no, girl, facts. that like related to me so much. Because it's like some stuff, you know, you pull out, got dust on it, like, mm -hmm. yeah. like what's that? <laughs> I should have been wearing this. this. <laughs> got a whole tag on yeah. it. But it's like, like, you know, but. <laughs> We knew, but That's we didn't right. know. Right. <laughs> it was kind of like blind to it. Exactly. Like to that exactly. Is what the heck? <laughs> so, okay. So when people order, do you like, do you kind of like inform them of what everything means? Like I'm asking mm -hmm. or like, yes, that like go um, every customer is different. Cause you know, I set up at the flea market and stuff like that on yeah. the weekend. So I be having stuff on hand or if I'm at a pop-up shop, mm -hmm. of course they'll buy whatever they want to buy. See, but, yeah, that's the thing. But like for custom orders, like I'm, sometimes I ask people if they don't even know where to start, like what properties are you looking for? What's something like you want to work on or that you think you need improvement mm -hmm. on, on yourself? I know I need help with time management. I'm a horrible procrastinator. You see, I, I was not <laughs> like, ready, y'all. I swear, I thought I was ready. No, no. Girl, okay. like, that'd be me, like, the entire time. So, yeah. That's what I basically ask them. Like, what's something you looking to get better with or work towards? But the only way for so. something to work is for you to believe it works. Like, mm. if you wake up in the morning and be like, oh my gosh, I don't feel good. I'm going to have a bad day. You're going to have a bad day. <laughs> like, what you put out is what you get back. And I feel like the same thing applies with crystals and spirituality in general. This is the third eye. Like, she has, like, eyes on the... So, mm -hmm. what is that? Yes, exactly these are the mean? evil eyes. So, the evil oh, eyes Lord. basically... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm dramatic. But, yeah, I'm like, yeah. What does that yeah, mean? Basically, um, if anybody wish you any type of ill will or mm -hmm. any type of negative any negative any girl reflects back to them mm -hmm. basically. Oh, okay and that um this sense. different colors so girl i got different colors 
Same thing, different colors, different meanings. <laughs> it's, <crazy. laughs> it's just deeper than like a. It really, it always is though. It's always deeper than what we think. Like we never yeah. really know. <laughs> right until we educate start ourselves doing and that research. Asking. Yes, it's freaking crazy. Start asking questions. So you started kind of during the pandemic, then, right? Um, it was like. Kinda, Oh, actually not last year. My bad. That was two years ago. Yeah, my bad, John. Like, two years ago. Yeah, because yeah, the like, pandemic yeah. started a year ago. So. Right. Was, 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 was about it? two, three years? Oh my the god. The pandemic. <laughs> yeah, when the COVID happened. <laughs> Damn, it has almost. Wait, it's been 2021, right? So yeah, it so, had to. It started 2020. Yeah. So yeah, so 2019 almost, is yeah. when I started making. When I first so started before. making websites. Yes. That's crazy. Dang, I did not know it's been that long, y'all. Yeah, Tom's so, fine. <laughs> okay, pause on her brand. How do you feel about COVID and stuff like that? Because I just got this vaccine and I, I'm pissed. So how do you feel about the vaccine and COVID and all that? Did, did you get it? I definitely have COVID, um, but I did not or I haven't got the vaccine. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about it? History shown that um, I don't really trust what they're trying to inject into us. Mm -hmm. So... Um, my thought process on the whole vaccine if it doesn't cure it or prevent other people from what getting the it fuck? what the fuck is the point do we need it what's the point <laughs> and it's like frustrating because when you're working for like the medical medical field all the nurses have to forced. get it like even you're me i work in diet i have to get it and they're literally they will terminate you until you get it like it's crazy exactly it's then he point. just passed the whole bill saying like basically by a certain date in january if you uh -huh. You can't do nothing. <laughs> Termination, you want Oh my goodness. Travel like, is a no. But at first it was optional. Right. Now is you have to. But then aren't then they um start paying people to take the vaccine? In the beginning. Mm-hmm. I don't funny. like that. That that's a little sketchy. Why are you paying me to Yeah. Take yeah, and I just had a problem with it because I've never got the flu shot. I've never been yeah, into like shots or anything. Yeah, so right. it's like, what? And then um I've even had I've seen a couple of people talk about how it messed with their menstrual. I'm not trying to scare you or nothing, but like yeah. how it messed up their <laughs> menstrual, menstrual, menstrual cycles arm and, stuff. <laughs> and all that type of stuff. Oh, like I people it. getting sick from it. So yeah, it's mm -hmm. a little scary. And then even the travel. Yeah, you know people like to go on trips. So they don't get the damn it's shot. It's like yeah, it's like either get the shot or be stuck at home. Right. <laughs> That's how I'm like, at this, this is crazy. point. Like yeah. what the heck? Mm -hmm. And like some states, you can't eat inside the restaurant. Either you're outside or you can't eat at all. It was like in New York or something. Yep. Yeah. And then you even have to show the like damn vaccination. I should have just paid for a card if I was thinking. I didn't even think about that because mm -hmm. it's literally a pay like y'all. Yes. Like you literally have to show your vaccination card. To it looked like they just ordered a lot and then they'll fill in your name. That's it. Seriously? And they'll show you like what type of vaccine you got. So the Johnson Johnson or whatever. Would you ever get the vaccine if they say you can't go to the grocery store? What if it get like that? How would you feel? Girl. You gonna move out of <laughs> Damn. Honestly, I was thinking about honestly just going ahead and getting it because I wanted to go to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I was going out the country, going to certain places. You have to get it. But um mm -hmm. I ain't going to Jamaica no time soon, so yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just try. Strict. Really, just trying to stretch it out and wait it out as long as I can, because hopefully something changed drastically where yeah. all of a sudden we won't have to. Take right, because it it's work. going to, against people's religions and stuff like that. Like, like people have to work. Like exactly, people need their money, and of course, yeah. that's the that's the way to make people take a vaccine. Threatening their jobs and livelihood, of course, then we won't have a choice. Like, right. I just don't feel that we should have to be strong arms to take it. But what else? What's your reaction to the pandemic? Like, and how did it affect your business? Did it affect you in any Girl, way? Girl, well, when the p pandemic first started, I was actually working full time, and I was just mm -hmm. doing Royal Bijou part time. Mm -hmm. Um, but I was actually a supervisor at a detention center, That's so. Nice. So yeah, it was it was very um, hectic. Yeah. Uh huh. I <laughs> and as you again. can see, um, I'm not there anymore. So <laughs> she said, "I can't do it." <laughs> yeah, because it, it was very intense just being in a confined like it's a detention center in jail. Yeah. So you coming across so many people, dealing with kids constantly coming in and out, having That's to quarantine lot. kids. Girl, and yeah, the over kids me. quarantine like no exactly like, in a room like that should have drive me crazy regardless of technology like, exactly 
Girl, it was, it was a lot. You, fuck that. Girl, it was a lot. But then, um, I didn't even gonna lie to you because once after um, I left that job, I went hard with my business. It was like COVID was, yeah. it got its Blessed pros and cons. Curse. Like, destiny and curse. Like, at the same time because. I got to make so much jewelry. I got to put in more you time on social happy, media. Huh? Girl. Yeah. Y'all, I wasn't happy. I feel like when you work <laughs> at your gift, like the money will come. So exactly. you have faith. Like, I want to do this. It's, it's going to work passion. out. Yes, I love doing it. So exactly. Of course, I'm going to want to keep doing it. So, mm -hmm. y'all, stop being at places that don't make you happy. Fuck them benefits. Them benefits don't mean shit. <laughs> Cause I'm talking about staying for the benefits. Y'all, it don't be worth peace. your peace. Yeah. It, it's it's way more important. I feel like our home life is more important than that work life. But and we need to remember that shit. Like yes, mm -hmm. I get we need the money. I get it. You know, without the green, yeah, we can't pay bills, and I get things like that. Bruh. But. Mm -hmm. If you find other avenues to bring it in, because listen, it's it's a way for sure. You don't find it's a, ways. It's a no for me. <laughs> Do you hear me? Like if Shit. you get, just find one thing you good at, just one. Thing. Keep doing it, man. That's it. So, <laughs> what do you have planned for your business? Like, what do you, girl? What do you want to accomplish in your business, girl? It's just. Like that. That's the thing. Like, I have so many ideas. It's just so much I want to do. But mm -hmm. I want my own crystal shop. Oklahoma doesn't have a black-owned crystal shop out here. And then the crystal shops we do have. <clears throat> Isn't it one on 23rd or something? Yes, yeah, Craig Euphoria. I think so, yeah. I've seen that one. Oh, overpriced. It's a lot. It and amongst overpriced. other things. They have very nice crystals. But um, I started getting my crystals elsewhere. It's a guy um, at the flea market that sells crystals for great prices authentic yeah real okay yeah, and then i also have a vendor um that's actually my that's my vendor vendor like <laughs> yeah, all stuff, right? yes um that's her good. business is called hella vibes and um hella vibes okay. yes girl, that's that's literally mean. where i get my crystals from like half of like all my that's crystals cool. my charms woman female black owned <gasps> Oh, that y'all. She a <laughs> She my favorite, y'all. But um, that's where I get my crystals from. Me and her are gonna collab and do like different types of things. Come that's up. I'm like, why don't y'all like make videos of like short videos, five minute videos, and mm -hmm. like focus on one segment? Cause mm -hmm. like a lot of people, I didn't know anything about this. So I do be like cool to enlighten people. Yes. Maybe. Yes. I do want something. to. I definitely do want to do that though. Um. To make more videos and like more content of actually making jewelry, right? And showing so myself making see, jewelry, right? Because I see a lot of pictures and stuff, but I'm like, videos would be dope. Though. I want to add like apparel, like clothes and stuff to it. That'd like, dope. honestly, y'all um want to do like pre rolls with smokable herbs? Get okay. more into the holistic side of things, girl. Get some that's plastic. dope as hell. Yeah, y'all. That's a lot I want to do, y'all. It's just so much that you you're going to do. You gotta yes. see that. See, yes, I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's just about just getting organized and just getting the shit done. Really, like, yeah. just me. That's I sweet. feel like that's my problem. Like, once I'm organized and like get my routine, it's going, like you know what to do, but. Yes, girl. Because yeah, sometimes it'd be so much to do. I'd be like, ooh, overwhelming. Time to take a nap. <laughs> That's me. So this okay. is the rose quartz. And then I got some uh, antique copper wire okay. with a 16 gauge. And then I got a 22 gauge. Okay. So. Is this how you make the waist beads? Or girl, we're going to make a necklace real quick. Like okay. a, a wrap necklace. That's dope. Okay. So like a pendant. Not real quick. How long? So it doesn't take you that long to create? It depends, like, on how, like, the style that I make or the patterns. Because, really. So did your friend teach you everything? Like, how to make them? Or did you kind of, like, It all YouTube? started, like, literally, um, I am a visual. Um, well, I learned by doing, but honestly, mm -hmm. watching videos, y'all, YouTube. YouTube. YouTube, literally. Pinterest. That's, that's where I got a lot of stuff. And I could really, like, look at something and that's finesse weird. and, like, figure out. I'm not trying to, you know, gas <laughs> myself up. But <laughs> was she kind of like your mentor in a sense? Um, I would say she was my sensei. Okay. 
Okay. Low key, like I joke around because I'm a hoe. I love me some anime, y'all. So mm-hmm. I joke around and say like she was low key, like not low key, low key hockey, middle key, whatever. She she All was definitely keys. sensei, but um. <laughs> Yeah, y'all came a long way, honey. Cause I show you from where I started with taking pictures. You gotta pictures. start somewhere, though. Literally. Oh my god! And it was just up from there. Like I made it all started with literally her teaching me how to wa- make waist beads. Mm-hmm. Uh, she Were y'all just bead talking, machine? huh? Were y'all just talking like, hey, let's make a. Well, we worked together, so uh-huh. I was actually her supervisor at um the detention center. Oh, so okay. like you know. Um, I was training her, work. putting her on mm-hmm. about that, you know, just have a simple conversation. Yeah. And where we was working, y'all, it was literally like the death. So we, it's like family. It's a no. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we ended up like, um, she just telling me about ways beads. I think I probably seen it or something. I don't know how we got on it, girl. Mm-hmm. But once we finally, um, we linked up mm-hmm. and she was like, okay, this is how you do it. And she talks about this now. She can tell you this to this day. She was like, I'm really not a good teacher, but uh, I was like, just do it and I watch what you do and right. like whatever. And See, then that's that's, me. that's like kind of how we do. <laughs> and I kind of caught on. It's crazy because I never like uh, keep a hold on to jewelry long, but like this anklet, I will. If I set it there, I'm like looking for it. Like, I, look, I do not play about it. Like no, like if it doesn't go on my out, I'll take it off and I make sure I put it on the bathroom counter, y'all. Like because I girl, do shit. see you better than me because um, my anklets, I literally don't take them off. My anklets and my waist beads, you don't? Like, no, I leave them on. Uh, Showers, wait, really? everything. Oh, well, I'm living with the shower, but what yeah. if it don't match? <laughs> match for what? See? <laughs> I'm look at crying. me. I never take these off. Never like. Never ever. When it's like formal. Girl, that's like, why I got a bunch of different colors on, so it's gonna match with something. True. <laughs> that's why I feel Eventually. like a solid. No, but um, I ask me take them off. That's oh. kinda like like no, we ain't gotta match. We ain't got to. I feel so like with, formal, you don't you just leave them on like, like um say you had to go somewhere really dressy. You I would probably wear something different then. Like it's been a, it's been a minute since I did that. Yeah. So when you do open a business, do you think you'll get an assistant? How do you how do you think you would want to rent? Like, would it be a lounge area so we can just Girl, vibe? Like, how would it? Let me say that you. would be dope. I'm like extra. a shop. Lounge, yes, I'm extra.com. So um, not extra. <laughs> I am. Dope. No, because listen, I need a smoke room. Okay, I'm trying mm-hmm. to vibe out. I need a smoke room. Yeah. Like I said, I want a lounge. Mm-hmm. Girl, I need a balcony. I low key like want a rooftop. Like it's just so many options. That would be <laughs> like, a vibe. But like when I like when I tell y'all, like I be being dramatic and people talk about be because I be saying I be okay. having visions. That's all right, me be having visions, okay? Like yeah, what? Hold on. Just how I want things to be. Like just okay. imagining, just trying to think about. Okay, like if I want to shop. Like, okay, we're going to need some parking, okay? Because we're trying to make things stick. Mm-hmm. Things stick. You know, <laughs> if we want some events, you know, we're trying to have things here. Yeah. I want other. I want to collab with other people. I just don't want to do it by myself. Yeah. I know a couple of people that likes crystals or are very spiritual. Girl, like so I know some um, card readers. I Really? Girl, yes. Some tarot card Uh-oh. readers. Girl, yes. Uh-oh. Girl, yes. In Oklahoma? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Definitely in Oklahoma. Oklahoma, we have a lot of spirit fairs and crystal fairs and things like that out here. Girl, just got to find them. I was even went to a craft show in, was it Choctaw? Chickasha? One of them shawls, y'all. I went to... (laughs) It is a lot of shawls. Right, one of them. I went and um, went to a craft show and it was like literally like 75 plus vendors. And the turnout was not that good. I'm not going to lie to you. But... Like, I learned, are. exactly. Yeah. That's one thing I learned. Listen, y'all, the turnout don't be that good. Who's there? What business Start cards talking, are you taking? Yeah. Like, Collabing. what you trying to do? Like, support other businesses. Like, yeah. people just be out there just, girl. Yeah, don't turn out, you know, a huge crowd. Curious, but I want apparel, girl. I need, I want some shirts. Really dope. Are you running your own pop-up shop soon? Do you have any pop-up shops? Um, coming I, up. Actually, yeah. I do not have any coming up right now, but we are planning on meeting up and setting a date for like soon next year because yeah. December is um, down the street. So, yeah, not December. Tomorrow. Next year. <laughs> do you hear me? Tomorrow. The way October blinked and came. Just like, what? <laughs> Literally. 
So you do okay. So where are you located? And where can they find? Can they order from you? Yes, you ma'am. Let them know that. Oh yes, I do have a website. Um, okay. I also, y'all, I take. It's easy to order with me. You can message me. You can order on my website. Everything linked down below, y'all. Literally. <laughs> um, but the website is myroyalbijou.com. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And like she said, everything's going to be in the link. Because you can literally go to my page. And listen, everything is there, okay? Everything is in the link. Tree. All the links. If y'all would like to give me <laughs> or buy y'all own stuff for yes. Amazon. Girl, my Amazon wish list on there for Royal Bijou, all that. <laughs> Dang, see, I didn't know that. Okay. Girl, yes, I have to check it out myself. Okay. Girl, somebody, uh, it was like some, uh, Instagram influencers that um, I be following. They call TLZ. It's like cosplayers. Mm -hmm. And they have like a wish list. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that is genius. So now, she girl, get more organized. <laughs> no, like anything I want to buy, I put on my Amazon a Royal Bijou wish list. And I'll go to it and just buy it. Like it's, girl, just, just be trying to get I've it been, together. I've been seeing a lot of people do that as well. With their girl, yes. And stuff. It is Stylists like. Stylists do that a lot. Like. It's kind of genius. Like low key. Mm -hmm. Like. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what to get me, check my link. <laughs> right. Shoot. She's so creative. She's just talking and creating. Yeah. Girl, I I'm do not it. that uh, creative, you guys. I'm creative with the editing. But other than Girl, that. Girl, you're very much so creative. <laughs> That's like, it. Not everybody can do what you do. So, you guys, we met at a pop-up shop with Quisha. Yes. A mother's touch. MUA LLC. Uh -huh. She did our makeup today. <laughs> Literally, y'all. Yes. To get 10% off, you guys, just click the link down below and get you a freaking eyeshadow palette. No, for real, y'all. No, like, she did that, though. This she did. Cute, and this too. is my first time getting my face beat, y'all. Like, my full face. Normally, I just do eyes and lips. You don't, you don't do the contour? Mm -mm. <laughs> this is the first time for that, y'all. So, hey, y'all. It's the first time. Like, I'm about to be zooming up. <laughs> Does any advice you would um, say to someone who's wanting to start a business? Man, my biggest thing is being consistent. <sighs> Don't be scared to ask questions. That seems so easy, but mm. it's being consistent is hard, y'all. So trying to post every day, three times a day. That you, is hard. You gonna get probably two out of me, depending on the day and what I'm doing. Like you, girl, it be a struggle. So okay, consistency. Okay. Like oh. being consistent, just like honestly believing in yourself, because a lot of people aren't. People not gonna see your vision. Mm -hmm. They're not. Nobody can see your vision. <laughs> but you, you. Mm -hmm. so even if other people don't agree with what you're doing if you think this is in your past follow that shit mm -hmm. for real. period like just do it man y'all like nike bro in real life <laughs> <laughs> so like, <laughs> what steps did you take in order to you know kickstart your business girl and what was the hardest part about that because okay. um yeah. being consistent yeah i still struggle with that um Get, uh, posting now is easier for me. Setting alarms, writing mm -hmm. notes, yeah. dry erase boards, uh, oh sticky notes, girl, calendars. Oh, girl, yeah. I literally, um, for, I try to post three times a day, so I set alarms at eight, one, and four. So I need to be posting. That's trying good. to post in between those times or while people's on Instagram literally stuff. constantly mm -hmm. taking pictures um mm -hmm. always gathering content oh uh, you know Instagram Facebook just saving stuff on your um just say pre-saving content that helped See, me a lot yeah, that's what videos. I was looking for yeah pre-making videos like you know like how you can save stuff on your Instagram mm -hmm. and then it like uh, you can go to it from your profile yeah girl y'all yeah, listen to me Save it. Save, save it. <laughs> that's a lot of content. It so is. that's good you stay on task by setting alarms. I never thought about that. Girl, but yes. there is an app you can get, Girl. which you can um, set it on there, set alarm. Like, it'll post it for you. I, people been so, telling me something about Facebook do something like that, Facebook too. Facebook do? Like, girl, See, mm, it's, it's so much. Yeah, I'm going to really send you that app. Like that. Yeah, my friend told do. me about that app, which I really need to use it more. Me too, but social media is not enough. It's not. And so, I got way, yeah. like you said, got way more publicity, and nobody can sell your stuff better than you. you right. If I can explain to you exactly what I'm making, how I'm making it, and then right. I'm the whole time I'm sitting there making jewelry. Right. If I or if a customer come, 
I'm massage you for some waist beads. I'm going to mm -hmm. get up. Oh, you need, uh, I'm going to put on your ankle. Like, just be, right. like, like you said, hands-on. Because, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. If y'all think just posting and doing it on it's social media. It's not enough. That's why I'm just out there as well. It's not. Uh, the flea market is literally easy. On Mondays, you can go to the flea market. They open at 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And um, book your space. $20 a day to be outside. It is getting a bit I colder. I know. Is that freaking cheap? Social media isn't enough. So, mm -hmm. hands on. Be Definitely. consistent. What uh, else? Pop-ups. Uh, like you pop -ups. said, doing pop-ups and events. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I know people that I haven't done this personally. Um, people that pay for um, ads. Yeah, um, ads. Mm -hmm. I, listen, y'all, putting your business cards like um, I don't know barbershops, beauty supplies. Mm -hmm. Anybody that's willing to let you do that, I know a couple people. Baby, if you got some stickers, take your stickers. You got, stickers, you got your business cards. Mm -hmm. Girl, I, have you seen that TikTok of? People going around putting their business cards in like purses and clothes and like stores and stuff like that. Like literally, that's, okay. Walmart, Target. Yes. Like I swear to God, that's actually smart. I'm like, girl. Do that. <laughs> and then uh, one time the girl was like, "Girl, they hit me up talking about stop uh, putting your stuff up in here." Like, <laughs> I'm gonna do that. That's but, actually kind of smart, though. Bro, genius. Because like you said, you never know who's in the room. So anything else you would like to tell my subscribers? Um, anything informative? and give your social media oh yes you can follow me on instagram facebook tiktok the name is the same royal bijou mm -hmm. i ain't gonna lie maybe an underscore on the instagram one we got you okay. yeah yeah I but like um <laughs> royal bijou okay. on all accounts and then my website www.myroybijou.com y'all please tap in with me you can message me um if you have right. questions if you want to know what a crystal means i also have a crystal app that, uh, yeah, it, okay. Girl, well, it's not my app, but um, I, I use, use a crystal app. <laughs> you don't have to say to any upcoming entrepreneurs, oh, business yes. owners, man, da, 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 da. man, never give up. Like, never. It's not over until it's over, okay? As long as we breathe in, it ain't over. <laughs> Facts. Keep so. trying, never give up, be consistent. Mm -hmm. um, and y'all, stop being stingy with the info. <laughs> Oh my god free game is okay y'all free yeah. game is not off limits free game is okay <laughs> nothing easy. is wrong with it so you guys if you like this video make sure you like this video also subscribe to my freaking channel hit that yes. post notification bell so you can know whenever i freaking post and you're gonna out bye you